Are you looking for some quality stocks to buy while the market is falling? Today I'm going over three dividend stocks that Warren Buffett has in his portfolio that are great for long-term investors to buy and hold. Also be sure to watch till the very end where I'll be going over a bonus stock that is similar to one of the private companies that Buffett owns. And if you're here and on my channel, I'll discuss investing in stocks ETFs while also sharing my own personal investing journey with the hopes of inspiring you to start growing your wealth. Let's jump into the first stock. First stock I'm going over is Chevron, ticker symbol CVX. Now Chevron's in the energy sector and right now energy companies are really rising, probably due to all the craziness over in Europe with the decrease in the gas market. As far as Warren Buffett goes, he has added about 9 million shares to his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. Just looking right down here at this news article headline, he has added another 5.9 million shares to his portfolio just within this last week. Talking about the share price rising, from the beginning of the year, Chevron has rose about just over 43%, and within this last month, it has rose about 3.5%, so 3.69%. And the current share price of Chevron is $170.69, which puts it to right over here as almost at all time highs. So its all-time high has been $174.76. So even though it is at its all-time high right now, it still has a fairly, a fairly good P, which is just above 10 right here. You can see 10.41. And its current market cap is $329 billion. Now over on its revenue growth, Seekinov gives it a grade of B. So at a ratio of 29.19%, it's about 25.81% higher than the rest of its sector. Now looking at its P, Siganov gives it a grade of C. Being 10.41, it's about 10.5% 10 10 higher than the rest of the sector. Scroll down here for the price to free cash flow, which is at 7.11, which is about 33.84% higher than the rest of the sector. Now what's important about price to free cash flow is that this is how much you're paying for every dollar of future growth. And so you want this in the teens even better in the single digits as it is right now and looking right up here the price to book is 2.21 which is about eight and a half percent higher than the rest of the sector now the forward dividend yield for Chevron is 3.33 percent and i'll give you a annual payout of around five dollars and 68 cent payout ratio is 51.37 percent and it's been growing that dividend for the last five years at a rate of 4.82 percent and it's been growing that dividend consistently for the past six years. Now, Wall Street are rating this as a buy with, with a value of 3.89 out of five. Scrolling down here, we see that their price target is $177.30. So that is just above what the current share price is. So it's about $7, $7 above, and they have a low rating, a low target of $130. If you're wondering if Chevron's a safe dividend stock, according to Dividend Tracker, they give it a grade of 69. Second stock I'm going over is Ryzen, ticker symbol VZ. And this is one of the largest holdings within Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. And you may be thinking Ryzen's not too exciting compared to some other stocks. However, they have consistently paid a high dividend for the last few years. Since the beginning of the year, it has fallen uh, just about 8%, so it's 7.95%. And within the last month, it has fallen 7.74%. So I'll give it a current share price of $40.27. And that puts it very close to its 52-week low, which was $45.55. So the current PE is almost 9, so it's at 8.93. And we have a current market cap of $203 billion. Now over on its revenue growth, Sikhanov does give it a D+. Plus with a ratio of 2.88%, it's about almost 68% lower than the rest of the sector. On the other hand, Sigan Alpha gives it a grade of A- for its PE, and at 8.93, it is, is about 40, 47% less than the rest of the sector. Scroll down here, we have for its price to free cash flow of 5.18, which is about 45% less than the rest of the sector, and the price to book is 2.14, which is pretty much in line with its sector. Over on its forward dividend yield is at 5.3%. That'll roughly give you $2.56 annually, and its payout ratio is 46.83%. It 
and the growth rate for the last five years has been 2.89%. It's been growing at dividend for the last 18 years. Now, Wall Street analysts are considering Verizon as a hold with value of 3.37 out of 5. Scrolling on here, we do have a price target of $58.91. And so we're about $10 less than that right now. And they have a low of $45. And as far as the dividend tracker, they give it a dividend grade of $69. If you're finding value out of this content, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you're looking for other stock analysis, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm interested to know what your thoughts are about all the stocks I'm going over today, so definitely leave me a comment down below. Now, the third stock I'm going over is Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. Now, this is the second largest holding within Warren Buffett's portfolio. It makes about 13% of the entire Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. And Bank of America is one of the nation's largest banks. And with the increase of interest rates lately, it points to high income for Bank of America future in the future quarters, giving it a strong revenue stream for dividend investors. Looking over here from the start of the year, the share price has fallen close to 20%. And right now it's 18.9%. And just within the last month, it has fallen another 5.02%. So that brings it to a current share price of $37.45. So it's very close to its 52 week low, which looking right here, it was $35.46. So we do have a PE value of just above 11. So it's 11.29. And we do have a market cap of $311 billion. Now, as far as the revenue growth, Seeking so Alpha gives it a grade of C. So with the ratio of 5.99%, it's about 18% less than the rest of the sector. Over here for its PE, Seeking Alpha gives it a grade of C minus, being at 11.28. It's about close to 10% greater than the rest of the sector. Scrolling down here, we can see that price to book is 1.19, and it's about 7% higher than its rest of its sector. And as far as its forward dividend yield, it is at 2.24%, and I'll roughly give you 84 cents annually. Payout ratio is 23.14, and the growth rate for the last five years has been 24.12%, and it's been growing that dividend for the last eight years. Wall Street is rating this as a buy, and right now it is at a score of 4.03 out of five. Scrolling down here, for the price target of $48.83, and a low of $40. So right now we're slightly underneath the, their low target. And over on Track Your Dividend, they do give it a dividend grade of 47. Now, the bonus stock I've been teaching you guys about is Hershey's, ticker symbol HSY. And the reason I'm talking about Hershey's is because one of the private companies Warren Buffett owns is Seas Candies. And since it's a private company, we as uh, average Joe investors can't really invest in that. So the next best thing is to invest in Hershey's. And Hershey's is one of the nation's largest chocolate companies, but they don't only do with chocolate. Just looking over here, and just scroll down here, in addition to all the different uh, chocolates that Hershey's has, they do have other brands. Right down here, we do see pretzels. Uh, they also have popcorn. Not sure what private booties are. <laughs> and then we do have some chips. And then they also have different protein bars right here. We have one, and then also Lily's protein bar. So historically, Hershey's have done very well during times of high inflation. And they also been historically increasing their dividend. So that's a pretty sweet deal for us dividend investors. So right down here from the start of the year, Hershey's has risen about 17%. And just within this last month, it has risen 1.37%. That brings us to a current share price of $226.05. And it does put us very close to the 52 week high, which was $231. Now the current share price is 28 0.07, so it is the highest out of all the stocks I've gone over today. And we do have a current market cap of $46 billion. Now, as far as revenue growth, Seeking Alpha does give it a grade of B minus with a ratio of 8.14%. It's about 19.66% higher than the rest of the sector. However, for its PE value, Seeking Alpha gives it a grade of D, being at 28.07, is about 57.54% higher than the rest of the sector which are all under 20. Scroll down here. 
We have a price to free cash flow is 31.41, which is over 100% higher than the rest of the sector. And price to book is 15.32, which is close to 450% higher than the rest of the sector. Now for its forward dividend yield, it is at 1.59%, which gives us about $3.60 annually. Its payout ratio is 45.02%, and its growth rate for the last five years has been 7.55%, and it's been growing that dividend for the last 30 years, making it a dividend aristocrat. Wall Street is rating this as a hold and have a value of 3.42 out of 5. Scrolling down here. Now the price target is like right on point, which is $226. So we are right there and they are showing a low at $155 and a high of $255. Over on the dividend tracker, they're giving Hershey's a dividend grade of 74. So I'm going to set the four stocks to buy now and hold forever for that dividend income. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so definitely do your research before investing in any of these. If you're looking for some more dividend analysis I've done, I have a link on my end card to five dividend stocks with dividend yields above 3%. So definitely go check that out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.